Hey everyone, this is Fidel Hug or Asia Raven and welcome to our first video content for Geekiri News Briefs. Now, if you have been following us on the website The Geekiri, you would know that the Geekiri News Briefs series is actually a series of written articles that we do on the website. So we decided we, that we should also create video content for it for and just like see if that's something that you guys would like. So if you guys don't know, in this uh, series, I would be going over some of the news related to pop culture. And yeah, again, a lot happens so i won't be able to cover everything so if there's something that you want me to talk about please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll be and i'll try to get to that in the next video series that we do or the next written article that we do so let's start the first thing that we're going to talk about are the weekend box office results so at number one right now it's gloss and it's weekend gross is for uh, 40 million so yeah 40 million and i mean i did watch this movie uh, i was excited for it especially after the trailer but i mean after watching the movie i didn't like it per se and i mean m night Shyamalan is kind of iffy like sometimes he's good but most of the times he's not so yeah anyway the interest interesting thing is that this movie was supposed to open at around 60 to 70 million but after universal ended up lifting the review embargo and the review started to get, come in i guess the current rating for it is like 38 percent on rotten tomatoes so that's not good and also the cinema score is like a b so immediately from 60 to 70 that was expected this film opened at 40 million so even though there are people who don't like other people listening or reading rotten tomato reviews rotten tomato still like it it still holds value for a lot of people as you can see at what happened with glass now the interesting thing would be is it's uh, next weekend hold so let's see if people ended up uh, coming to watch this film or they were like yep it's an m night Shyamalan film the reviews aren't great so um, good luck on your next project m night uh, surprisingly at number two we have kevin hart's the upside and that is that ended up uh, only dropping a very surprising 23 percent and it ended up get, having a weekend gross of 15.6 million and the total domestic gross is at 43.9 million right now. Now, Kevin Hart, he has been a very controversial person since December, I guess, because of what he said about the LBGTQIA plus community. And then he came up on Ellen and he was the Oscar host, but then he walked back. But yeah a lot of controversy but as far as the box office results are concerned people are coming to support him so good for you kevin i guess now at number three and this is news that i'm also happy about dragon ball super brawly ended up having a debut of 10.6 million during the weekend gross and i'm 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 happy about it. As an anime fan, I'm happy because I really think that a lot of people tend to ignore anime because they think that it's not very adult oriented and it's something that's supposed to supposed to be a niche uh, community of viewership. But yeah, I liked it. Now, as far as the film is concerned, one of our uh, contributors on contributors on the Geekery uh, did review this, so the link to that will be down in the comment section below. And she liked the film. I watched the film as well. I didn't like it per se. Like, again, spoilers. There are going to be spoilers uh, sometimes in these Geekery news briefs, so you have been warned. But yeah, I'm going to... Should I spoil Dragon Ball Super Brawly? No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't because, yeah, it just came out. But yeah, I didn't like it. I would actually give it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. And the fighting, I would give like 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Now, on at number 4, with a 40% drop, we have Aquaman. And it ended up having a gross of 10.3. Again, we did review Aquaman for the website. So the link to that will be down in the comment section below. As far as I'm concerned, I would give the overall film a 4 out of 10. As far as the writing is concerned. But the overall film, uh, depending on... Like, with regards to how beautiful it was, I liked it. It was... It, it's a gorgeous film and the Oscars, yeah, it was snubbed at the Oscars. Now at number five, we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which 
which again it held very good it only had a drop of 19.8 percent and the current domestic gross is like at 158 million and i'm like more people need to watch this amazing film i mean it's winning awards it's awesome i mean it's like don't watch it just because it's an animated film even though the animation is gorgeous just go and watch it to see how awesome a superhero movie can be at number okay so at number six we have a dog's way home i didn't watch it then we have escape room i again didn't watch it then at number eight we have mary poppins returns and yeah it's not doing as good as other people hoped we also did a review of this the link to that will be down in the comment section below and number nine is bumblebee yeah that's a film that you guys should watch it's good at number 10 we have the basis of sex and yada 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 yeah i link I'll leave a link to the box office mojo results so you guys can read. So let's move on to the next news and that is that the CW is, uh, according to comic book resources, the pilot episode for Bat the Batwoman solo show is going to shoot start shooting soon. Now keep in mind, it's just a pilot. So the CW network hasn't ordered it to go direct to series. It's just a pilot. Now Ruby Rose as Batwoman was, uh, made her debut during the recent crossover, the Arrowverse crossover. We also reviewed it so you can check that review out. I mean, I like Ruby Rose as far as her entire like overall appearance goes, but as an actress, I'm not really a fan of her. So let's see how the pilot does. Are you a fan of Batwoman or are you excited for a Batwoman show? Again, let, let me know. Uh, let me know down in the comment section. So the next news we have is, okay, so Leslie Jones ended up taking to Twitter. Now, if you guys haven't heard, Sony, yeah, Sony is trying to make a Ghostbusters 3. It's going to be a direct sequel to Ghostbusters 2. However, due to it being a sequel, they are going to ignore the events of the 2016 Ghostbusters that was all female-led. So Leslie Jones went on to Twitter and she said that the news is so insulting, like F us, we, did, we didn't count. It's like something Trump would do. Trump's voice. Gonna redo Ghostbusters. Better with men. Will be huge. Those women ain't Ghostbusters. Oh, so annoying. Such a move. And I don't give a... F I'm saying something. Now, I can... I can understand where Leslie is coming from, but then again, I watched that 2016 Ghostbusters film and didn't they like ignore the events of the original film? So why are you so mad about this, Leslie? Like, I mean, it's okay for your film to ignore the original, but now that the original is getting a proper sequel, it shouldn't ignore what you guys did. Again, it's, it's a weird uh, situation. Uh, moving on, we have... Okay, now this is going to be a spoiler for Avengers Endgame. So... Uh, yo, how should I go about it? So, okay, I won't show the images over here. I'll leave the link to that down in the comment section below. So, uh, a Twitter user, hash, uh, Twitter handle is... How strange, H-O-W-L-S-T-R-A-N-G-E. So apparently there are new toys, new Avengers Endgame toys available uh, in Vietnam. And they have these, yeah, yeah, you should check, check, check these toys out because they do hint at what might happen in Avengers Endgame if you are interested in, in that stuff. So... Also, according to Deadline, the production for Fantastic Beasts Part 3 has been delayed and uh, yeah, apparently they needed more prep time for Part 3 and I'm like, uh, Warner Bros. has been doing these films, these Harry Potter films for quite a while now, so they know how much prep time they need for all the sets to go up and yada yada yada. Now, it's not mentioned in the news that Deadline reported and apparently it's just a rumor right now, but I do think that after the lackluster response of Fantastic Beasts, The, Crime of, the Crimes of Grindelwald, which was the lowest grossing Harry Potter friend, uh, film in the franchise, I do think that Warner Bros. and J.K. Rowling are working on some, uh, like, re are working on uh, uh, the script and yeah I wouldn't be surprised if the delay is due to the script and they are giving studio notes to Rowling because Rowling has been writing these films without any studio interference but after part two Fantastic Beast 2 wasn't able to perform at the box office yeah I think the studio is going to tell Rowling to 
like edit herself. I didn't enjoy part two. It was a mess. We reviewed it. The link to that will be down in the comment section below. So uh, the Captain Marvel uh, solo film is going to come out on March 8, 2019 in the USA. So of course you can go ahead and watch it in cinemas to support it. Now another way that you can support this film is by buying the merchandise. And there is some very interesting and cool looking film related merchandise. I reviewed two of the dolls that are in the merchandise. One of the dolls comes with Goose the Cat and that was a good doll and the other is the one where we have Carl Dunworth with a helmet and there are also action figures and there are also there's also this glove that you can wear and then it then your hand will glow like one of uh, Captain Marvel's energy uh, blasts or photon blasts so I so the link to, to all of the toys will be down in the comment section below and I do and I do recommend that you go and buy these toys because buying these toys and buying the merchandise it also plays into the profits of the film okay so coming to the last news for this geeky Eerie news briefs video uh, a new teaser trailer for shazam has been released it's on youtube you can go ahead and watch it right now i guess it's less than a minute i'm not sure let me check is it less than a minute uh yes kind of so shazam is going to come uh in theaters on april 5th and i mean Aquaman took all of us by surprise. It has crossed the 1 billion threshold uh, at the global box office. So maybe Shazam might do well as well because it's a, it's basically bigger but with superpowers. Now, I'm not a fan of Shazam and I'm also not a big fan of Zachary Levi. But, and his his suit, his suit feels way too padded. And But anyway, the teaser is fun, kind of. We have Dr. Sivana, Siviana, whatever his name is. That's the villain. And apparently he can fly, he can throw, light, he can throw lightning balls and yada, yada, yada. It's a kid's film. Again, Aquaman worked. Maybe Shazam will work, will, will, <laughs> Shazam will work as well. So yeah, that's it for our first video of the Geek Yuri News Briefs. Uh, I might do a written review of uh, a written article of this as well. I'm not sure. But again, let me know if there's any news that you want me to cover and I'll try and get to it in the next video. So make sure to check out all of the links that I have down in the comment section below. And again, let me know what any news that you want me to cover, whether it's related to comic books, whether it's related to movies, even videos. I'll even do songs, okay? I'll even, uh, and yes, especially games. So let me know, and until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.